This is a video on how to control and drive a sheet in DriveWorks Solo. Within SolidWorks, make sure you already have a project open, with a drawing sheet already added to DriveWorks Solo. Within your captured model section header in the DriveWorks Solo Capture Explorer, drill down to the drawing you'd like to open and double click on it. This will bring up the Sheets and Views section, where it allows you to check what sheets and views you want to drive in your DriveWorks Solo project. You will see there are two pages associated with this drawing. You will notice that there is a message stating, there are no sheets and views captured. Put a check in the box next to the sheets that you want to capture. In this case, I will capture both sheets. Just below, within the DriveWorks Solo Capture Explorer, there is some sheet information. Hit save and then click on the Open Project Designer button located in the DriveWorks Solo command bar. Go down to the Models Rule task heading and put a check in the box of the drawing from which you captured the sheets from. In this case, I have selected the cupboard base. When the actual captured sheet is selected and highlighted, more sheet and drawing information is displayed below. If you click on the pin icon, the information bar will stay pinned open. Now it's time to start capturing some sheet information and building them into the rules. For now, I'll double click on the Sheet 1 Sheet State and put DWG in the rule between speech marks. This will create the sheet as a DWG file. I will come back to sheet 2 in a short while. Go to the form designer task heading in the project designer. Here I will create a checkbox called create DXF. Back under the model rules task heading, go to sheet 2 sheet state and double click on it. Select an if function from the functions wizard and create the rule. If the create DXF return is checked, then create this drawing sheet as a DXF. If not, delete it. Click on OK to accept this rule. Select Sheet 1 Scale Numerator and Sheet 2 Scale Numerator together whilst holding down Control and click on Build from the Project Designer command bar. Simply enter the number 1 into the rule builder and select OK to accept this rule. Enter 1 into the Scale Denominator rule for Sheet 2 Scale Denominator as we want the scale to be 1 to 1 for the DXF file. To work out what to enter into the Scale Denominator, this simple equation can be used to work out your drawing scales. New Scale divided by Old Scale should equal New Size divided by Old Size. For the Sheet 1 Scale Denominator, we shall enter With Return divide by 664 and then times all of that by 5. Then use a roundup function which is found under the functions wizard which will round up the results of this rule to the number of digits we specify. In this case I will specify 0 digits as we don't want any decimal places. When you're happy with the rule click on OK. To learn how to capture and drive a view please watch the following video entitled how to capture and drive a view. For more information, click on the help button at any time whilst using DriveWorks Solo, or visit the online help file, which can be found at help.driveworksolo.com.